For most of our journey on the Pitaya River, we were surrounded by virgin tropical forests, with rare wildlife and rapids as our only distraction. But as we made our way further downstream, we came across mining camps, located deep in the Guyanese jungle. These men had one goal, to find diamonds, gold, and precious stones, and make their fortune. Working on dredging platforms, this group of miners specialised in diving. The diver, wearing a wetsuit and a belt of lead weights, will spend up to three hours at the bottom of the river, 80 feet below the surface of the water. Armed with a giant orange hoover, he will vacuum up pebbles and rocks on the riverbed. Passing up a large orange tube, the rock particles are led to a giant filtering engine, which pulls the smaller rock particles into a container below and excretes the larger rock particles back into the river. The platform team can then look through the remaining particles to see if they contain any gold, diamonds or precious stones. Receiving compressed air through a thin tube from a generator up top, the diver's life is in the hands of his team above. After three months of hard and dangerous work, these men will come home with a handful of gold and a collection of small rough diamonds. They keep 40% of what they find, the other 60% going to the man who's invested in the operation. These men lead a harsh existence, where catching malaria, dengue fever and typhoid all at once is not uncommon. They're also at risk from armed robberies by river pirates. Their obsession for finding more gold and more diamonds is what keeps them motivated under such difficult conditions.